This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. We have been able to open the bottleneck to access the mother load and deliver to you more than 20 times as many planets as has ever been found and announced. The Kepler is a planet finding fool, a planet finding machine. It has found 715 new planets. And I guess that's good because we fucked up this planet so fast since we've discovered electricity. The great news is NASA's found 715 new planets. The bad news, they're all so far away. Everyone outside of the nerd astronomy fringe who makes up maybe 0.0002572% the entire global population. Nobody's really gonna give a shit. You kids, probably too young to remember when we knew of zero other planets outside of our solar system. What was that, 2003? Or when they announced another planet outside of our solar system. Eris, Sedna, floodgates opened. Bottlenecks broken. And here we are, what, 11 years later? Boom, 715. 715, add those up and that's 13. Verified using a new technique. What, what is the technique called? Does it have a nickname? You know like that one, Kung Fu technique, the throat ripping cat? Works every time. Who thought it up? Or was it like a software upgrade? Does the Kepler run on Linux, Windows, Mac, or Kubrick? A new technique makes planetary discoveries more detailed and more frequent. Well, that's cool. Can we get a name for this technique? I would like one. That's a lot of new planets, y'all. I got the 715 on the 715 new planets in our galaxy. None of them were rogue planets. Rogue planets are kind of like pinball planets floating from pinball machine to pinball machine, I guess. They're not involved in this story. That's a lot of planets to name. I think we should take naming them more seriously than we take naming streets. But I definitely feel these planets need a name. You guys hired a head committee leader guy to head up the new planet naming committee. I can work part time. I got other jobs, man. I mean, well, man. Hey, someone do my homework for me. When was the first extrasolar planet found? All right, up until about 1999, there were no known planets other than our magical generic nine. If you discount the history on Ceres and um, and then in the Mike Brown era, there were 18-ish. That's like 2003 to 2004, 2005. Instead of introducing 18, they promoted negative one. And then they put the Kepler up in 2009. Well, up until about now, they'd found a thousand planets. I don't know if you knew that. You're real busy doing stuff. And the great news is, all these 715 brand new planets are so far away, you don't even really have to give a shit about them. They can be inconsequential and irrelevant in your life. I mean, they're all double digit light years away. I do believe. So life is about thinking and learning and stuff. And well, having all the known extrasolar planets over double go 71.5% up overnight. Well, that is fascinating. Yes, it is. Wait, are those 715 planets on top of the billions? of stars they'd announced in our galaxy because like billions plus 715 <laughs> wouldn't be that dramatic of it i wouldn't think by way of comparison about a thousand planets total had been identified in our galaxy before wednesday oh that is way different that's a pretty big batch congratulations four of those planets are in what nasa calls the habitable zone the habitable zone meaning they have the makeup to potentially support life Bet Jupiter has life. No? Okay, prove me wrong. Okay, I busted out my calculator. I divided stuff. And I got 2.3442. 42. Planets per star. Hey guys, how do you know they are planets and not planetoids? Mike Brown, can you help me out on this one? Or Miss Mainzer? How do you know they cleared their orbit? Or is the IAU rules only technically apply to our own solar system and they're different? More lax rules outside of our own. We've been able to open the bottleneck to access the mother load and deliver to you 
more than 20 times as many planets as has ever been found and announced at once, said Jock Lisawa, a planetary scientist at NASA's Amez Research Center in California, A, USA. How'd you guys open up the bottleneck? You know, you could've just twisted off the cap. You broke the bottleneck off, didn't you? How? The new technique? Tell me more about it. There's something odd about the use of the word mother load, Jack. Like if this is your first time using this technique, when you improve upon it, you should find a bigger batch than the mother load. So then what are you gonna call it? Jack, you painted yourself into a corner already, man. Hey, wait, and has ever been announced. 20 times as many planets as has ever been found and announced at once. Okay, yeah, that solidifies my idea that NASA's Hogwarts. And that could be probably the heaviest sentence I've read and spoke since I've been making pseudo-astronomy videos. We've been able to open up the bottleneck to access the mother load and deliver to more to you. We've been able to deliver these plants to you. Well, I mean, yeah, Thor News, definitely. To everybody, I don't know about that, Jack. Hey, dear NASA people, quick question, or questions. How hot is a red star? How hot is an orange star? How hot is a blue star? How hot is a pink star? How hot is a green star? How hot am I? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm cold. Is all light that is emitted from all stars across the universe always the same? How do you know?